Hey, it's Sarah with Loaves and Dishes, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super easy tomato soup. Um, so I started out with two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of olive oil in my pot. And um, this potato soup is so easy that even I made it. And I have not been able to make a potato soup yet. I've tried several times. I haven't been able to do it. Um, but I added some garlic and some onion, and then I added about three tablespoons of tomato paste. And this is one of the secrets that makes tomato soup good. Um, tomatoes are really acidic, but they do have a lot of sugar in them as well. So the trick is to add tomato paste at this stage and then to let it kind of caramelize a little bit. You wanna let it cook out some of the sugars and some of the acidity. And the sugars will mix in with the sugars from the onion and everything, um, and that is sort of the trick. So I let it cook for three to five minutes, um, and I just made sure that I stirred it a lot. Um, and kind of kept an eye on it uh, so that nothing burned. And after that time period, then I added a large can of crushed tomatoes. Uh, this did, this made also, this made like the perfect amount of soup for, you know, a couple of servings. It Normally when I make a soup, it makes a huge amount, but this was a really good amount of soup. Um, I think the large can is 32 ounces of crushed tomatoes. Um, and I really recommend that if you're going to use canned tomatoes and canned tomato paste, I really recommend trying to get the San Marzano tomatoes. They're a little bit more expensive, but they are worth it in my opinion. Um, but if you don't taste a difference, then get whatever you usually get. So I added some salt and pepper and then mix that in. And then I added in about a quarter cup of chicken stock just to thin it out a little bit and to give, um, I was going to let it simmer for a little bit and I wanted to make sure that there was some liquid that would cook off um, and so that it wouldn't be too thick after it was done simmering. I didn't let it simmer for very long though. And I added about two teaspoons of dark brown sugar. This is another like kind of secret. You want to use brown sugar, at least dark brown sugar, preferably the molasses and the brown sugar um, really helps bring out the sweetness of the tomatoes so that it's not so acidic. So then I let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I added half a cup of heavy cream and I gave that a good mix. And then once I mixed it all up, I blended it. You could have just added the heavy cream and then immediately blended and it wouldn't have made a difference. I don't know why I wasted so much time <laughs> mixing in the heavy cream and then blending it. <laughs> um, and you don't have to blend it if you don't want to, if you would like a, if you like a chunkier soup, um, you know, you can skip blending it. But if you want like a real tomato bisque, you want it to be blended smooth. And it was splattering everywhere, but um, that's it. It's tomato soup. If you want to see more recipes like these, check out loavesanddishes.net. If you want to hear more from myself and my mom, we do have a podcast. It's called Dorks with Forks, and you can find that wherever you listen to podcasts. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We put out a new video every Monday through Friday, and if you want to um, purchase anything that we used in the video, any equipment, um, you can find that at the links in the description box. Thanks for watching.